Planet Birdsong is an organisation based in the UK and working with the University of Rwanda Centre of Excellence in Biodiversity and Natural Resource Management. And our mission statement is to engage with people to help them to realise that their environment is something which is worth valuing. And it helps them to observe and to listen to their surroundings, create data for science and assisting with the training of bird guides. And together we are using a citizen science programme which we believe is almost unique in the world because it draws in people who are not scientists to learn about sound recording and recording bird sound throughout Rwanda. Citizen science by definition needs simple, affordable, accessible equipment so that as many people as possible can learn the skills and then take out these skills and practice on their own. I've trained over 50 people now Many of them are tour guides who are using this system to help them build their identification skills in bird sound recording. And by recording those sounds, their identification skills are greatly improved. That's one really key aspect to our program, as well as collecting good, strong sound data for science. We realize that the sounds of species on the Rwanda bird list are not widely recorded. So all these factors came together to lead us to promote the project in Rwanda. We chose this country because Rwanda is a very good uh, example of a country with a very rich bird life. And also the people are very committed, they work hard, they are very uh, enthusiastic and keen and reliable. Since I was uh, a child, I used to, to go for bird watching, listening to bird songs, calls. But uh, after my class, I got a chance for joining Planet Bird Song trainings. Then I get very motivated and uh, doing some excursions with some other recordists. Uh, up to now, I still enjoy uh, birding and recording. Those data uh, are really very helpful for citizen science, uh, just awareness for conservation for future research, for bird identification, and it improves my birding skills. The importance of recording uh, birds' data for the, the conservation of Rwanda is that they help bird guides for t just to know and location of the birds and their calls. It also contributes to tourism, uh, because when you are guiding uh, tourists, sometimes use uh, those calls to identify birds. The data that we record demonstrate how Rwanda is special for, for bird songs. Uh, sometimes some, we have some calls that are different from Kenya, from Uganda, from Tanzania, uh, because uh, the, the birds, they sing their call according to different elevation, habitat, and the food availability. So Rwanda is special for some sounds. That's why we record and we keep uh, this data. I can encourage young generation to love birds, to love conservation, because they contribute even for personal development, for country development. And recording is a new activity. I recommend uh, future generation, new recordists, to join different clubs that are just doing bird uh, recording. And it is a, a free training. And I'm hoping that it will contribute a lot to biodiversity conservation. And this is one way uh, particularly uh, tour guides can develop their identification skills and become better guides for visiting tourists who want to see wildlife. So a little bit about the recording itself, as we connect the phone using uh, the uh, jack to uh, the parabolic reflector microphone and that connection uh, feeds into the, re the phone recording system and produces uh, really uh, quite reasonable uh, recordings of the bird sound. So the objective is to collect mass recordings of birds throughout the country 
for use in uh, natural resource management. So by finding ways to engage people in an interest in wildlife, an interest in birds, an interest in the environment through a citizen science programme, we believe that this is a model which we hope will spread and add to the huge amount of activity in conservation around the world. Thank you.